nothing like a warmth of light to draw moths and nomadic apparitions from the shadows. 3 a.m., the height of the witching hour. A good time to reflect. Although time is elusive, like sand escaping through open fingers, but in a way that's comforting. No longer feeling the gravity of past regrets pulling you backwards, or the seduction of an enticing future pushing you forward. Just a hmm, detached equilibrium, for lack of a better description. For me, time has stopped. There are two primary ways to stop time. The power of imagination and death. As for death, I think Socrates said it best. Death is a very narrow theme, but it reaches a wide audience. And immersion within the universe of imagination has the power to shatter time's boundaries. Imagination, death. I've experienced both. Thus my presence here wrapped in the atmosphere of imagination that theater provides. In case you haven't figured it out by now, I'm a dead actor, a.k.a. a thespian that has shuffled off this mortal coil. <sighs> and like any actor committed to his craft, it's nearly impossible to get them off the stage. You may be wondering who I am. I am the ghost of productions that never should have opened. <laughs> oh, oh, God forbid. No, um, I suppose one could say that I'm the remaining phantom of a memory, a memory of life. And for now I roam this Dionysian temple in search of what? Well, not in search of a prop. Although a good prop and how an actor handles it can reveal insights into a character. I remember when I played Richard III. I know, I know, it's... It's so annoying to hear an actor say, when I played, but nonetheless, when I played Richard III, I remember my astoundingly visceral use of the knife in the Queen Anne scene. I sliced an X into my chest, blood dripping, as I tearfully proclaimed my devotion. There's nothing like eliciting the sound of a gasp from the audience. But I digress. What am I searching for? What am I searching for? Hmm. I suppose my next cue, and I don't know what that is. That can create a dilemma in terms of making an appropriate entrance or exit. A part of me senses the need to move on and I don't know how to do that. It's as if a siren song is hauntingly calling me to something inevitable. A final curtain? <laughs> Perhaps another play. Well, like any good mystery, I suppose, the denouement will reveal itself when the story is complete. <laughs>